Hi guys, um, welcome back. Uh, it's been been a while now. Some of you will have seen. Whoops, giving it away there. Will have seen. Um, I had a trip to Blackpool to Bivens Machinery at uh, Blackpool um, on my Instagram channel, and. Uh, I asked the question like why would I be going there it's a long way to go for something and the answer is for this because believe it or not from Chesterfield even though I live six miles away from record power which is at a place called Barbara just outside Chesterfield I the nearest place to go for me to get this was Bivens at Blackpool. <laughs> that they were the closest stockists that actually had this. So, I thought I'd do an unboxing. Um, now, because of the heights and everything, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the box lower and I'll present everything to the to the camera as it, as it comes out of the box. Um, I think. Is there a way I can raise you guys up so you can see? Um, maybe over here. I'll just give you all that work. Well, that's my arm. Let's see if I can get you to be able to see. Um, do excuse the weird movements. I'm trying to get me a little tripod right so that it's aimed at the right spot I think there that look right that looks about right to me and yes it is cold uh, maybe a little bit lower we'll get just get the edge of that table in. yeah I'm gonna focus come on focus there you go. Right, so you're going to see a lot of my back, but I'll be off to this side, um, and I'll put things where the box is now as well. I'll put things to get them out of the box. So first thing to do um, is open the box. Now I know people are going to be saying, "Ah, oh, Steve, you should have gone for the Pro Edge, or you should have gone for the." The actual Tormac. Simple truth is, it took me the best part of six months to save up to be able to buy this. So buying a Tormac, which is what four times the price, it's another year, and I need to improve what I'm currently using because basically what I'm currently using is a standard grinder. So of course if I'm using a standard grinder that means it's the high speed and I'm doing it freehand and I'm, I make mistakes so uh, yeah this will this will work out cheap in the long run and uh, oh I was watching um, some YouTube videos and they came up with a good point okay these stones apparently are soft they, they wear quickly but they will stay, it, this will take a Tormac stone, or a CBN wheel, or a diamond wheel. So an upgrade that, that you would get for the Tormac is still viable for this. So it still seems fair. And it's, got, it's record power, so it's got a five year guarantee. Holy crap. <laughs> so I'm getting confirmation documents. Mm -hmm. Confirmation documents and original. Wow, German, lovely. B tribe sand lightung. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, we have. Yeah, it's the instruction manual in German. Is it all in German or is it Chinese? Not all in German. So we've got an instruction manual in French. Aha! 
and the instruction manual in English. Now I'm a 50 year old man, so therefore, what do we need loads for? <laughs> Put those over there. So next thing we have is, oh the tool west bar. The, the, it's like your guide, it's what everything fits onto. With a thumb screw. Well, knurled nut really, rather than thumb screw. It's a knurled nut, isn't it? Apparently that's your precision guide. Fairly substantial. 12 mil bar. I know it's 12 mil bar. I don't know where these are actually made. I'm assuming somewhere in China. And the welding looks okay, but not spectacular. Again, this is effectively it's a budget one, so don't expect miracles. Um, water tray. Well, that's the water trough. And can you see that? Yeah, water trough. I am not going to have this running yet, guys. It's purely unboxing. Because from what I understand, um, I need to give the stone some time to soak water up. And I also need to true the stone. What have we got here then? Oh, this is for... Um, Uh, chisels, normal chisels, no woodworking chisels, and um, plain blades. So let me get up so you can see what I'm about to show you. So there's two tightening screws, but what you do is you put your tool in and then you butt it up against this edge so it's flush because there's one that side, there's one that side. So if, if, it, if it's a straight tool, and you butt it up against that, it must be straight. It can't be anything other than straight in the, in the jig. Next thing is... Oh, that must be for the... A tube of Autosol metal polish. Got a bit squished at some point. There we go. But it is, yes, it is a full tube. It's not like somebody's half arsed it. It is a full tube of the finest Chinese metal polish. <laughs> uh, and that's for the buffing wheel. Anything else loose before I go deeper? was there ready for the actual unboxing of the item I'm just trying to look at how to do this the best way oh there okay so I'm going to lift this is this going to show push the box down okay so there's some extra stuff here and in the other side so we'll get to those in a second so that's just the empty box make sure I keep everything together I'm going to put the stuff I've already taken anything I take out I'm going to put it back into this empty box on a temporary basis so then we have oh these are the, these are the guides Okay, yeah, so this is, out, well, I can bring it up to the camera and show you better.
Uh, that needs loosening up, I think. Yeah. Oh, not that much, though. Yeah. Okay, so this. Oh, wow, that's shiny. <laughs> Is an angle finder. From what I understand it is you find your whatever it is you want to find the angle of. Rotate the plastic edge with a tool in. Um, I think. I think it's a little bit stiff because it's just come out of the packaging. Oh, this is supposed to rotate. Sure it is. Yeah. Okay. I think that should go in that way. Oops. <laughs> Butterfingers me. Sorry for that, guys. I'm trying to do like fine stuff and I don't have my glasses with me. It's probably not the best idea in the universe, but hey ho. Might need a little bit of lubrication. Yeah, so, as I understand it, what this is for is you put your tool in, rotate that around. And it will give you, it will actually give you the, the angle, the degree and angle on here. I realise it's shiny, you probably can't see it very well. But there are uh, degree gradations there. So I'm assuming that's what that does. Well, this is your angle setter. For the hat, basically, you put, I'm trying to remember, you put this edge on the tool and that on the wheel, and you can make adjustments so you get the right angle for whatever tool it is that you're wanting. So, say you're wanting um, <sighs> Bolgo, say you're wanting a 55 degree angle, send that to there, tighten that down. You also set how wide is your stone, because obviously this is a stone, so it will get smaller over time. And mine's an 8 inch stone. So there's a tiny little marker there, I don't know if you can see that, because it's so small. We put that to the 8, tighten it down. And then if I do this right, when I put this on the tool and that on the, that flat there, and that is flat. No, it's the other way around, isn't it? You put that on the tool and that on the wheel, I think. <laughs> but if that is flat, then you have got the desired uh, angle that you've set. So I want to set it for 55, say. I don't like to want to set it for 55, I want to set it for about 40, so. Like that. DVD uh, on how to set up and what have you give you some information that's that's a not that's nice that I mean basically everything I've watched is on YouTube so I'm not putting that in the box I'm actually gonna watch that after I've done this then we have okay yeah this is the tool that you use to true the wheel up. This is the jig for it. Now I admit I'm a little bit fuzzy on this one. Well, I'm a little bit fuzzy on everything, quite frankly. From what I understand, you put this on that bar, that um, guide bar, this. 
fix it in place and then you whoops you put this somehow into here you fix this into here somehow and I'm not sure how just yet so I'm gonna have to look into that like that um, which allows you to give please forgive this I'm a little bit uh, no oh does that go under the oh hang on ah so that goes on and it allows you to guide and give pressure because you can you can set this over the width of the wheel tighten it down using the screws see the screws sorry it's a bit hard for me to tell what you can see at the moment screws tighten those down lock it all everything in place then you just slide this across yeah I think <laughs> put those in that that makes more sense I have to say yeah that does yeah that looks right put those in there along with that Oh, um, I've never been to Bivens before yesterday. I know it existed, obviously, but um, I've never, it's so far away from me. It's just, to me, it's, Turner's Retreat is way closer, so I tend to go there. Um, but they don't sell these. Okay, so this is the grading stone. This is for changing the grit on the actual wet water stone itself. So it'll come with whatever the natural grit is on it. Then what you do is, once it's all set up and running, you've got the water going. If you want to remove stock, if you're changing profile, you put this on and grade it rough. But if you're just sharpening, if it's top-up sharpening, you put that on. I think it said that's around about 300 grit and that's around 1,000. And say I'm not going to have this working today guys because quite frankly <laughs> I've had a long day and coming back home down the M6 so the M6 was being well the M6 was being the M6 <laughs> okay polystyrene more polystyrene Oh, the wheel is on. I was under the impression that it came with the wheel off without the fit it. Oh, fair enough. So, if you were doing standard chisels, can you see that? I don't think you can see that properly. Let's turn that round a little bit. There we go. I think if you were doing um, standard chisels, no standard woodworking chisels or um, plain blades, you put this in here. I'm not sure how far down this actually goes. There we go. So you put this in here and you would work the wheels coming this way. The wheel is coming towards you. So water running and you would shape, you would you would uh, sharpen from here. And you adjust here, fine adjustment that one, or you've got gross adjustment. Well, it's actually pretty 
like this. But from what I understand, one of the first things I'm going to have to do is grate this wheel. Um, so what they say is, you bring the bar down to the wheel. You know what? That is not far off at all. This, see, every one of the YouTube uh, videos that I've seen says the stone wasn't pre graded. This is. There is no gap between the bottom of that bar and the stone. So I think either they've changed how they do it. Oh, I got lucky. Now then. So that's how you'd, you would do this if you were doing like a normal woodworking chisel or a plain blade. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's a good fit, I'll give him that. For wood turning. Actually, let me put these back in before I lose them. I know what I like, and I am really good at losing stuff. Like that. I apologise, guys, it's not a brilliant view there. And no, I'm not wearing pink. <laughs> Both my team tiny shirts are currently in the laundry. <laughs> so, you put that in there. You tighten that down, you'd use that. This guide for the tool and oh, give me a second, hang on. Oh, there you are. Now you can buy when you buy one of these, you can buy a kit that comes with other accessories. Um for for what specifically for wood turners i didn't buy that because i found online the actual tool that you use to do this although i don't actually know how to set this yet i need to work out how to set this because I, right now i don't know but that was on there that was on there you can change the angle i'm seeing this you can change the angle to whatever angle that you want it goes in there that way around and then you can do the arcs so i bought that separately for 12 quid i think rather than buying the 50 pound for the uh the kit thing that quite frankly i don't need most of the stuff in that i don't need i need this and the work table I've also bought that separately and that was about £12. And then we have the leather strop, which is, seems to be working, seems to be okay. Now I was told one of the things that we need to do eventually is take this off, but no, that's changed as well. Okay. So yeah, so anyway guys, that's it, that's the unboxing, that's all the bits I've got, I will do another video um, when I am actually ready to give it my first first actual test, so, which is not going to be today because I'm knackered. <laughs> okay guys, uh, bye bye, take care.